You want stronger, straighter flying putts? You know what you got to do. Spin it. Hey DMD family, welcome back to another Discs MD video. Bunky here, and today we're gonna go over some putting. I haven't done this in a while. Putting videos usually don't do well, but I, arguably the most important skill in your game is putting. I mean, I know all of us wanna throw farther, but if we don't know how to putt, we're not gonna score. So getting as much information and as many tools as you can in order to putt well is crucial for your game. And I've been working on putting very consistently over the past month. Uh, and I'll show you an application uh, that I use. It's called DG Putt. And I'm recording on my phone, so I'll put the icon up over here as to what the icon looks like in the app. But it's a great application. It makes putting interesting and fun. Uh, has a bunch of games. I pay for the yearly subscription, which is kind of cheap. It's like 25 bucks, something like that for the whole year. Uh, and it gives you some really, really cool additional games that you can play, plus the opportunity to create or join a virtual putting league, which I do with some of the guys on that uh, Discord channel that I'm, uh, Discord server that I'm on with. Uh, so DG Putt has really helped motivate me to get out and practice consistently. It keeps all of your stats, how many putts, how much distance, how many you've made, keeps your percentages. It, it's a lot of information and, and it's a really, really good application for you to get better at your putting. Also, uh, the D-Clip, I still use this pretty much daily. Uh, I use it for the finger pop spins, mostly for putting, for putting, putting. <laughs> uh, put it on the disc and, you know, just use the finger pop. Do the Calvin finger pop with the, with the D-Clip on it. Uh, strengthens those fingers to give you more spin. Uh, there is a, um, a link discount code below. Hans right now is working on giving me 20%. It's 10% right now. He's working on a 20% discount for the holiday. Uh, so be on the lookout for that. Uh, that'll be down in the description below. Also putting co confidently, my buddy Kevin over there. I still, this thing never leaves my basket. Uh, I still use that consistently. So all of these tools, all, all to help me uh, improve my putting game and that's what we need. Uh, but what we're going to go over today is spin. Now I am a, okay, so here's how I, here's how I classify. You're, there's a, a push, a spush, which is a spin closer to the push, a spish, which is a spin closer to spin, and then spin. I, I'm, I'm closer to a spin putter, but I don't think I am a, I don't think I am a um, true, uh, genuine uh, all-in spin putter. I'm close, but I'm not there. I, but I do like generating spin on my putts. I just, sorry, I just think it's a, you get a truer flight, you can get more power on the disc the more you spin it. But it, even if you're a push putter, you need to put rotation on the disc. And where does that rotation come from? I've been thinking about this over the past month as, as I've been putting and trying to get my putt more consistent and more true. And I believe, or my spin, I'll, and I'll break it down to you on, on how I do things, my spin comes from, I think, three different areas. A and I'll go over those three areas in this video. So the first place I think we generate spin, and I'll, I'll go from the, the least impactful to the most impactful, is hand positioning during your swing. So Paul, in his uh, putting instruction in the Power DGA, the, the Power Disc Golf Academy, um, link in the description below if you wanna join that. But in his, in his putting videos, he, Paul putts with a very stiff wrist, right? His spin does not come from curling and uncurling his wrist. His comes from his hand position. So he'll stick his hand on a disc, get his wrist very, very, very straight and very stiff. And then when he comes back, when he comes back to his hip, he turns the disc into his hip, right? And what that does, and I don't know if I can display this, if I can really represent this well on video, but as the disc comes back, do you see how the hand sort of comes around the other side of the disc? And then when he throws, that the hand positioning 
puts rotation on the disc. So really that's the first place where, and, and, and I think the least impactful place, but hand positioning during your swing will help you generate spin. Now, my hand, I don't over exaggerate the turning back my hand. So if you think about your finger pointing forward, and then when you come back, your fingers pointing back, mine's not as drastic as Paul, but I do have a little turn with my hand to help give me that slightest little bit of, of extra spin as I come through and, and I release the disc. Only because when I think about putting, I think about uh, my backswing going down and then up the pole, right? My hand never leaves the plane of the pole. Uh, so it's tough for me to turn my hand back because that lever really brings the disc out and away then straight back, you know, that, that, uh, that old adage sliding the disc up and down a board, right? I'm closer to that than what Paul does. I'm sort of probably partially in between those two things. So anyway, that's the first place that I get a little bit of extra generated spin is by that hand position, hand positioning during my swing generating spin. Okay. But again, the least impactful place that my spin comes from. Now, the second place that my spin comes from is my wrist. Now, like I said, Paul does not condone um, uh, cupping the wrist during putting. Uh, he, he, he feels that uh, the, the more things that we cut out of our putting, spin, uh, putting stroke, the better. I tend to agree with him. I've, I've done a video on this before. Making things simple and compact makes them easier to be more consistent, more um, repeatable. But I found that in curling my wrist when I'm setting up my putt, I can generate much more spin at release. So I have found that if I pre-coil my wrist when I'm setting up for my putt, I can become much more consistent and make my swing much more repeatable, right? I, I understand that if you start out straight and then curl or coil as you're coming back and then uncoil as you release, it's tough to be consistent when you do that. So what I have done is now when I set up, I curl or coil my wrist first, and then I lock that into place and then go into my spit, my stroke and when I release, I uncoil, okay? So a lot of my spin comes from that. So it looks a little something like this. Set my coil, go back, uncoil, and fire at the disc, right? So I set my, set my coil on my wrist, go into my backstroke, and then fire and uncoil at the basket. And, and I've gotten a lot more spin in, in curling my wrist, but again, make sure you set that wrist prior to going into your swing so it can become consistent and repeatable. Because the more moving parts that you have in any swing, the easier it is for one of those parts to mess you up and then you'll miss your putt. Now the last and probably the most important place where I get my spin is my fingers. Like finger pop is, I think, the most impactful when it comes to be able to spin the disc. And it is all about finger strength and finger positioning. So when I, and let me cover up my number here. When I grip my putter, my fingers are underneath and curled. I don't come straight out. I curl underneath. And that way, it allows me to extend my fingers when I putt. Okay. Now, you've all seen me do this a bunch of times now you've heard about Calvin doing it about the finger pop drills where you just consistently spin the disc as far uh, as far up and as fast as you can and do it with just your fingers there's a lot of wind here today <laughs> it's blowing the disc forward uh, and again I use my D clip to put it on the disc to add weight to the disc now this is my uh, 180 gram uh, weight so it's it doubles the weight of the disc and then I just use that and spin the disc as much as I can. This really builds up the ability, the ability of my fingers to, to pop stronger and farther. And, and I really think that finger pop is essential to spinning the disc. If you want to become a spin putter, 
you need to learn to use your fingers in a, in a putt and to, to generate spin by, by uh, flicking your fingers out. Uh, and again, the D-clip's a great way to train that. Uh, now the bonus, <laughs> the bonus tip that I'm gonna give you is something that I've just started doing and it was thanks to a Robbie C video where he was teaching his neighbor how to putt. I always use to put my finger on the rim of my putter and then putt. Ever since I watched that video, I now put my finger underneath and my fingertip, the, my first finger rests right the, the, the knuckle rests right there on the, the rim and my finger touches the, the plate of the putter. This does two things. This has done two things for me that I, that I can think of. It keeps the nose of my putt up. Uh, I used to miss low a lot and I, lit, I miss low much less now that I've put my finger because it brings the nose of my disc up. So it keeps keeps me nose up when I'm putting. The other things it, do, it does, it allows extra generated spin. Like this, I lead with this finger now. So this knuckle starts the spin of my disc and then the other thing, other fingers, the other things. I can't talk today. I can't talk any day, but especially today, I'm having problems. But the, the, the pointer finger leads everything else and he helping generate spin. And I've generated a whole lot more spin now that I've tucked that finger underneath. It does take getting used to. Uh, it took me a week or so to really get used to that feel. And there was times where I wanted to just stop and go back to the way I was doing things. But as soon as I tucked that finger, I felt the energy of the putt increase exponentially. So I knew it was going to be good for me as it, all I needed to do was get used to it. So now from 16 feet, when I go to putt, it's really straight, really spinny, and uh, the flight is truer and stronger, and I'm becoming much more accurate with my putts. So there you have it, three ways uh, that I generate spin on my putt, and I would recommend them to you. Putting spin on your putt, again, is going to make it fly truer, straighter, more reliably, and uh, make you a better putter. So. Try to put these into practice and see how they do for you. Comment below, let me know how it, how it goes. And I hope this information helped. Uh, as always, thank you for your support and for watching. I really, really appreciate it. Until next time, enjoy the journey. Here's your verse of the day.